Early on the morning of February 3rd, I walked my tax return for 2023 to the post office and dropped it in the mail. That very same day, I heard from the devil again, Nyla sending me more correspondence after nearly a year's silence. I was not too happy. As you can see, I marked it return to sender and stalled one week before dropping it in the mail to go back to Philadelphia. On 5-23, I again heard from Nyla. I marked it return to sender, but I did not mail it to Philadelphia. Instead, I forwarded it to the Attorney General of the State of New York, which was where Fran resided her entire life, and where if this account were uh, an abandoned account, the money should go to New York. I have declined the money, as is my right, and Nyla refuses to hand the money over to the proper authorities. It's possible that they're simply running up office costs, copying costs, mailing. They are depleting the account so there's no money left to give to anyone other than themselves. Here's the letter that went to the Attorney General of the State of New York. Pause the video, read as much as you want, and then I will move the letter up so you can read the following paragraphs. I will pause the video so you can watch it and read it. The link that you're seeing there is incomplete because the link will be for this video that's being made right now. Read as much as you want by pausing the video. It is hoped that the Attorney General of the State of New York will notify Nyla to send them the funds and slap them with a fine for delaying turning the monies over for eight years, harassing the hell out of this individual who politely declined the money from day one. Citizens of the United States do not need to be harassed, threatened with the IRS, have fraudulent tax doc documents, a 1099 form filed, for a year that they never sent to the IRS, but they only sent to the recipient. Nyla is a criminal organization. As far as I'm concerned, they are an identity thief, and I will not deal with them or communicate with them in any way. All future correspondence from them will be inserted into the grate on my barbecue and airmailed to Fran, where she rests very happily in heaven, laughing like holy hell at the whole situation here. Thanks, Nyla. I'll meet you in hell one, one of these days.